How's it going, everybody? My name is Infamous Isaac, and I'm here to talk about slash review a series on Netflix I watched recently. And the name of it is Midnight Gospel. It's a show made by Pendleton Ward and Duncan Trussell. I think that's what their names are. Pendleton Ward being the one of the same people who animated Adventure Time and all like the 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 spinoffs. Well, not really spinoffs, but like segments that came from it. And Duncan Trussell is a is a podcaster, who uh, you know he has a podcast and he does all this stuff. And basically, Midnight Gospel is a mix of those two, of Pendleton Ward's animation and the podcast. And it's like it's not just the podcast; it's also a mix. Like uh, the show has its own story. It's not just animating podcast segments. It's its own show for a reason. And I want to give my opinions and thoughts on it because my friends recommended it to me. One of my friends, he, he showed me the show, he was like, oh, yeah, this show is fire. I feel like you like it because it's so abstract and weird, but it's so interesting. And, you know, like the way I saw it after watching it now, like I literally just finished it four minutes ago. I had to get on and record it. I have to record it. It's so good. But I like the, the way I see it, it, it takes uh, a very sincere podcast, like some elements from that. And it mixes it with Adventure Time's weirdness and the animation, like, uh, visual stuff. And it, it, it just meshes together. And my, like, the, the, the very, uh, for people who don't want to hear me ramble, um, and, and no spoilers either, I'll, uh, I'll say this right now, the, the show is an 8. Like, the show is a solid 8. Not an input 5, not a 7.5, it's an 8. It is good, great. It is amazing. And, you know, the the negatives for me is like some episodes I just, I couldn't grip myself towards while the other ones were really gripping. So it's just like, for me personally, some of the topics either just weren't interesting or I couldn't invest myself in. But for the most part, this show is really good. The animation is beautiful. It's so weird, abstract, and confusing. It's awesome. Like, this show for being eight episodes and for being on Netflix is dope. And it came out two years ago too, like I I, I really want a second season. But overall, you know, the show the show is great. If you if you like like Adventure Times animation or if you like podcast type things, then you'll you'll enjoy it. And if you like both, then even better. Because I know I listen to podcasts and I also liked some of Adventure Time stuff, so I really enjoyed it. But let me get let me get into the uh, the this show. Like the spoilers are gonna start happening now. If you don't want to hear any spoilers, if you want to watch it, I recommend clicking off the video now. And if you don't, then welcome to the show. You know, I'm gonna try my best to explain it. But yeah, so Midnight Gospel main character Clancy Gilroy, he has a a space podcast where he uses a simulator in his home where he can like go into simulated worlds in the galaxy and just, you know, live in those worlds. Like, the first episode is literally uh, him going into a, an Earth variant, like how, like, Earth in Marvel has, like, 646 or whatever, all those type of things. Like, he goes into an Earth where the zombie apocalypse happens, and he's just interviewing the president of that planet. And it's super cool because they're talking about, like, <laughs> all the drugs that the president took for some reason, like, which you would never expect, but <laughs> it's, it's, it's wild, like, that's just one episode, and if you're not into, if you're not interested in any of that, there's also religion, and spiritualism, and magic, in some way that people put it, and death, and, like, family, and all that, forgiveness, all this super interesting stuff, and one of my friends told me, like, if you want to get like the full experience, you should watch the show twice because on on first listen you, you should try to listen to the podcast and see what they're or listen to what they're they're talking about. Because the topics are really fleshed out and in depth. Or at least like enough for somebody who doesn't know anything about them. And if you do know something about them, it's just hearing other people's perspective on it, you know? But yeah, like the first watch you should listen to the podcast and then the second watch you should watch the show, like hear or see what's actually going on because the the show itself is like there, there still is a plot going on in the in the background there is stuff going on 
and it, it, it it could be hard to keep up with if you're just listening to the podcast. Like, you could try to look at both, like, see and listen to both, but it, it kind of takes away from one or the other. And I know it took away from the animation for me. Like, on some episodes where I didn't really care for the topic too much, I would be watching the, the, the animation and seeing, like, yo, what's going on? Like, what, what is happening? And then when the podcast is happening... Like, I'm just so interested in the podcast. It's like, oh, whoa, wait, what's going on with the episode itself? What's happening with Clancy, dog? <laughs> like, what's happening? But that, that's basically the gist of the show. Any intricacies, it's like stuff that you have to see for yourself, like the simulator, all the characters that you meet in the show. Like, uh, Captain, I, I forgot the name of his, I forgot the name. <laughs> but but the captain that shows up in the sixth episode, or the, yeah, the sixth episode, he was fire but you know like the the characters the characters that clancy interviews are so interesting because you know it's a podcast like it, it's clips taken from his podcast and it's normal people but the way that they're portrayed in the show is so cool like i've never seen any of these people in my life ever i've never heard of them they don't their names aren't mentioned all i know is that clancy is duncan trussell and that's it so like just these people that I, I don't know who they are and what they do or what they specialize in. It's just seeing and hearing their perspectives. It's super interesting. It's super interesting. Even if it's like a topic that I'm not well versed or in or interested in or engaged in. It's just hearing somebody talk about what they're very well like vested in. And I guess like what they have passion in. It's super it's super interesting. Like the, the the podcast clips are so they they mesh well with the animation like the animation doesn't feel out of pocket or out of place compared to the podcast the podcast doesn't feel out of place either they they mix very well like the like I said though the characters are really good I didn't like find any characters that I wasn't like oh they're funny or they're cool or they're interesting like, the only character I would probably say that for is Death in Episode 7, but that was more because of the topic I just couldn't really gauge, like, get myself interested in. But I, I still liked the episode. Like, the episode itself was good. It's just, uh, for me, I, I couldn't, like, engage myself in it. But, you know, like, for the most part, Clancy's neighbor, I thought was pretty funny, so I didn't mind, even though he's a horrible parent. And Death, you know, like, Besides that, those are only really like the characters I don't like. I don't really like as much as the others, but if I had to say it, my favorite character, it, it probably would be Clancy. Clancy's hilarious. <laughs> he's so imperfect, but he's just he's his own person. It's it's amazing. He like in 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 the in the podcast he learns so much, but he also shows his insight from how he's lived his life, and. Like, to me, the episode that made me like Clancy a lot was episode 6, where he was, like, it, it wasn't an interview at all. There was barely an interview portion. And it was just us learning more about Clancy and, like, his interactions with other people that he isn't interviewing. Like, uh, with his neighbor making that pie messiah, or messiah pie, I don't remember. And then him meeting the, the captain, and then... Well, there is an interview portion, but it's later on. It's when he's talking to David, when, because Clancy's just super angry. He's fed up with it. He's having a bad day, and that he's enlightened. And you know, in this episode, like Lancy or Clancy seems enlightened, but in reality, episode seven, at the end of it, he's not. <laughs> he's just he tried to act like somebody he wasn't, but in reality, he's just Clancy. He he had a. A nice experience with David, but in reality, he, he's not, he's not in light like him at all. Clancy is just Clancy, and he has his flaws like everybody else in the show. Everybody has their own, like, way of going about life with spiritualism, or accepting death and forgiveness, everything, all those, those, those topics. But everybody has their flaws, you know, not everybody's perfect. And it's, it's so dope to me, it's so dope. Um, I want to learn more about Sarah from, uh, the, like, they have a, rela or Clancy seemed to have a relationship with her. I want to learn more about her. Hopefully, if there's a season two, I want to, I want to see more about her. But, 
you know, like hopes as well. The like, I hope season two comes soon. I hope there's like, it's not like it's gonna be a repeating formula if it does come back because it's gonna be more space cast episodes. But I hope like the the plot or the or the topics don't stagnate because of it because this seems like uh we came up with this at one point and we put our heart into it and it just turned out this good. Like not not by chance, but because we invested ourselves into this. And I can really tell because there's so much effort put into these short or not short, but like twenty to twenty five minute episodes of just pure like abstract ideas and all that. It's it's dope to see. Like it motivates me to keep going on YouTube like a lot. Because if your ideas can be put to paper and affect somebody like on an extravagant level like that that I just, it just makes me want to do it you know it just makes me want to do it too but the the episodes that i didn't like were episode t episode two i think and episode seven i didn't like episode seven because i just i didn't like the the topic too much like i said before and episode two i just wasn't paying attention when I when I rewatch this show, and I hopefully make a video on it, I'll uh, I'll I'll give my opinions on those episodes again, and if they have changed, you guys will know, and if not, then you'll know. But those are my least favorite episodes so far. I just I just couldn't, like you know, get my feet behind them. I wasn't interested in them as much as I was the other episodes. But literally, like my my favorite episodes was every other episode. I loved every other episode besides two and seven. Two and seven, I thought were okay. Like, it, like two and seven, I, it's not even like that. That I dislike them either. I just, I thought they were okay. Like, if I had to rate them, I would give them like a six or something, both of them. But every other episode was great. Like, my favorite episodes were one, three, four, five, six, and eight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Number one being the president episode. Number three being a uh, a guy in a, a like oh, a goldfish in a in a tank talking about magic. Number four being about forgiveness. Number five being about space prison and you know like hopelessness, but in a positive way. Number six uh, being about Clancy himself, like uh, and his neighbor and all that, like I mentioned before. And number number eight. Well, actually, I should mention number two as well. Number two being about um, like Christianity and religion and all that, and how like it, it has such an impact on people, and how it impacts people differently, and all that while they're in like a meat factory. <laughs> and number seven is about death and like uh, accepting death, knowing that it's a natural process in life, understanding that. It's just it's just better to accept it because then you're living your life while death and Clancy are trying to get Clancy's hose back for his water slide <laughs> and then number eight was a uh, Clancy talking to his mom and about life birth death rebirth or well, not rebirth but death and birth how it affects people how like children grow up and how they're affected in their formative years how death affects people how to accept it how to understand it understanding that it's okay to cry and all that it was crazy and if i had to rate each episode i'd say number number one was an eight number two was a six number three was a was a seven number four which was uh the uh, forgiveness was an eight number five was an eight honestly an 8.5 number six was a nine number seven was a six and number eight was a ten episode eight was a wholehearted 10 out of 10 let, let, let me talk about more episode eight actually because uh if you if you could tell if you were keen to it or not i sound like i'm on the verge of tears every time i mention episode eight and it's because uh episode eight was a very a very good episode since it talked about clancy and his mom and it messed me up, yeah. It messed me up really bad. 
I was crying a lot during that episode. It it had me on like tearing up in the beginning, crying in the middle, tearing up again on the second half, and crying at the end. Like, like if if I had to say um, what went like the most effort went into the series. I would say it's episode 10 because it's even the longest episode in the series. It's, I think, 34 or 36 minutes. And it affected me so bad. Yo, it was crazy. Like, I'm, I'm tearing up just thinking about it. Episode 8 was really good. And I guess if you're really, like, on the fence about this show, I would say that episode, you know, like, episode 1 is a good introduction, of course, because it gives you, like, a primer on what the show kind of is like. But episode eight is the culmination of all of that. That's why, I, like, I don't, I don't think people should watch episode eight right off the bat because it, seeing all those episodes like from start to finish, um, from the beginning to end, made episode eight even better to me or for me, excuse me. So I think starting with episode one is just the best way to go about it if you're on the fence. And if you don't like episode one, I mean, I say keep going, give it uh, another chance. But if you don't like it, you don't like it. But you can see like how different it is. Not like it's a oh, this is a once in a lifetime generational like a masterpiece. But it's just a nice fun show, where it it, it can kind of have like some serious topics, like really serious topics, like episode eight or episode uh, seven. But they're handled completely differently. Where episode seven's like uh, some jokes in between, and just super lighthearted where it was some dark moments in between episode eight is very serious and somber but hopeful at the same time they were handled differently and it's just something like i i, I should warn you if you're not like that type of person that handle that stuff lightly then it may not be for you but if you are then i i wholeheartedly recommend this show only eight episodes only 20 to 25 minute episodes you know it's short it's short. But yeah, you know. The the music as well was really good. I forgot to mention yeah, the music. The music was really good. I uh like you know when when the the the, the joke songs show up obviously you know they're jokes. But when the music comes in it's it's good. Like the music itself is really good. But you also have the animation which I touched upon briefly before, but the animation is is awesome it's so smooth so colorful so bright so it, it fits like every episodes are um topic every animation like uh or every episode's animation fits every topic it doesn't excuse me it, like it feels normal it feels in character for the show once you understand like oh this is what type of show it is and i i i just felt like the, the show was uh, worth the watch i don't regret it at all and I know, like, I, uh, I'm, I'm supposed to be watching One Piece right now, but this show just, like, left a profound effect on me. And I, I'm so glad I watched it. I'm not gonna stop watching One Piece, but, you know, I'm glad I took a little detour, took a little break to watch this, because it was, it, it was fire. It was so fire. Uh, but yeah, you know, that was, uh, Midnight Gospel. I don't know how long this video is gonna be, but it feels like it's been 20 minutes. So if, if it's a little long, I apologize, but I just really want to talk about this. Just like I want to talk about the Batman and all that. Like, man. Uh, but yeah, you know, I, I hope you all enjoyed. Thank you all for watching as always. If you if you watch the show, please let me know in the comments how you feel about it. If you haven't, let me know if you, if you want to give it a watch or not. Uh, hopefully this video convinced you to, but if not, then, you know, by all means, don't watch it, you know. You can never force anybody to do something that they don't want to, because then you're the bad guy. Well, no, well, the the person who doesn't want to watch it isn't the bad guy either, but you become the bad guy once you try to force somebody to do that. But, uh, yeah, regardless, if you liked, uh, if you liked the video, like the, the, the show, or just the video in general, please consider liking and subscribing, you know, if you like, like the channel, if you like the video, or if you like the content, or like, well, not content yet, just videos. I, I try to be more consistent with uh, my upload schedule, even though I don't have one. I try to upload daily, but because of college, I've been struggling with that. But 
you know, I'm I'm trying to put my best foot forward. So if you want to stick around and see what else I put out to the internet, then you all you're welcome to join the, I guess the the ship since we have the one the one piece um, theme over there. But like, you're welcome to join us all the people here, all the 21 subscribers that I have, uh, and you know, welcome to sit here, join a discussion on some of the topics I talk about, or just enjoy the videos and maybe you get recommended to something that you like or maybe you recommend something to me that i i would want to watch or read or just talk about you know it's all just a way to for people to talk to each other about something that they like whether it be something as limited as like me talking about anime or something like i know a lot about but there's other stuff you know there's always going to be other stuff but yeah you know thank you all for your time again thank you all for watching and i'll check you all out Peace.